The HTC U11 is somewhat an old flagship now, but yet it has specifications to rival the performance of the new Huawei Mate 10 Pro. But when stacked up together, who wins in a head-to-head -head speed test? Let's find out. Both phones are rebooted in their default factory conditions like always, and here the Mate 10 Pro edges the HTC U11. However, when testing fingerprint scanner speeds, both phones show almost identical speeds, and it's really hard to tell the difference in the real world. Now let's check that both of these phones are running their latest software at the time of filming, and clear any background tasks in memory. Starting up the speed test, the HTC U11 is quick off the blocks and clicks a picture faster, but the Mate 10 Pro remains close on its tail. The difference is not very much at all, and at Chrome, the loading times give the Mate 10 Pro a chance to catch up. We're loading up GNTech's mobile website over the same Wi-Fi network to keep results fair. Through many of the applications following this, the small lead is held by the HTC U11, but it is at the gaming row where it starts to widen the gap. Temple Run 2 loads up much faster on the HTC U11, and so do all of the other subsequent games. And on Asphalt 8, the Mate 10 Pro takes a much longer time to load, which allows the U11 to finish loading the system apps and complete the first round of the test in 1 minute and 42 seconds. It briskly moves forward onto the second round while the Mate 10 Pro is still struggling to load up Asphalt 8. It is looking likely that the HTC U11 will beat the Mate 10 Pro by a considerable margin, because through the second round, the faster animation times and the 6GB of RAM on board will definitely help the HTC U11. And when the U11 comes around to the Instagram app, the Mate 10 Pro finishes the first round at 2 minutes and 8 seconds. Now that both phones are in their second round of the test, we can see that the U11 has done a better job of keeping applications in memory with the 6GB of RAM on board, whereas the Mate 10 Pro could not keep the Balls application in memory for the second round of the test. But while the Mate 10 Pro is now onto the second row of applications, the U11 seems to be done with the system applications and therefore finishing the entire speed test in 2 minutes and 28 seconds, which by the way is very impressive. Now we'll skip through the rest of the applications on the Mate 10 Pro, which finishes the second round of the test in 3 minutes and 2 seconds, just over 30 seconds later, making the winner the HTC U11. I think a light OS and fast animations alongside high internals makes for a fast phone in the real world, and in this case, it is the HTC U11. If you've missed out our previous videos, do check them out and subscribe for more videos and reviews in the future. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.